I, I guess my question back to you is, do you see any will or any evidence in the Trump administration that they might try to twist China's arm to get a solution in North Korea? Claudia Rosette didn't see it. You say it's the only solution. Any sign that that might happen? Well, uh, there certainly weren't any signs of it in Trump's speech because he actually praised the Chinese and Russians for signing on to the last Security Council resolution. But as we all know, they watered it down. So I thought that that praise was inappropriate. I mean, there have been some signs that Trump is willing to actually impose some costs on China. We saw that at the last week of June when there were a series of actions that the Chinese said that they were outraged, quote unquote, about, including taking a small fried Chinese bank, the Bank of Dundong, and declaring it to be a primary money laundering concern and therefore severing it from the global banking system. Um, what the Trump administration needs to do is go after the big Chinese banks that have been money laundering as well, especially Bank of China, mentioned in a 2016 UN report for devising and operating a money laundering scheme for the North Koreans. Um, you know, I, at the end of the day, I don't know if this will move China in the right direction, but we ought to try it. I think that it will work. Uh, there's a number of reasons why I believe that the Chinese can be moved. Um, but, you know, we'll just have to see if the Trump administration will make the attempt. Yeah. I believe it absolutely has to. Yeah. Wouldn't it be interesting to start with small banks and maybe once a month, once a month, another bank bigger and bigger and moving closer and closer to the inner circles? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just so curious and I sense the insolubility of the problem. Uh, anything is better than the inertia of the status quo. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.